was sleeping with her head resting on Yang's lap. John was leaning on the wall with his eyes closed. Sun was just douching around. Gyra, if what happened to Vale is the cause by a splinter group in the white fan, then Sienna was too aware of it. She's maybe heavy-handed and militaristic, but she will not condone genocide. With all of that, she might be in danger of being pulled into an open revolt. Callie, have we gotten in contact with her? Gyra, no, apparently something is blocking our communications. Son, isn't there anything we can do? John's scroll rang as he pulls it out and answers. John, hello? Then he hangs up. Callie, who is that? John, someone opened the door. The parents were curious to why as then Callie went and opens the door as they were met with a shock. As Ilya was helping a wounded Sienna into the house. Callie, get her to the table. Sun was helping carry her to a nearby table as Callie scrambled to get the first aid kit. Sienna struggled to speak. Sienna. Taurus. John walked up to Sienna and asked, John is a bastard. What happened? Sienna. Coup. Adam. Control. The fan. Callie. Easy rest now you'll need it. As she tends to her wounds. Gyra. Now this is concerning. If Adam has now control of the white fan. John. He'll start by declaring war on the SDC. Gyra. Damn. Blake finally woke up after hours of recovering from all the rampant emotions. She walks in on and was shocked to see Sienna badly hurt. Blake, what happened? Ilya, you were right to leave. Adam had gone insane and declared himself supreme leader of the White Fang. John, he must be stopped before anyone else gets killed. Young, this is getting out of hand by the second. He needs to be. Then she had flashes of Adam and begins to shake. John held her prosthetic hand in a sign of comfort. John, easy. He's not here. You're okay. She opens her eyes as she was tearing up then. He pats her head, helping her calm down. Blake, we have to stop this before he makes things worse for Menagerie. Ilya, Blake. Blake looks at Ilya and she was surprised to see her there. Ilya, hey, um, this is awkward. Young, no shit. John slaps the back of her head. John, learn some tact, please. Young, you sound like Weiss. Then he pushed Jing out of the room to give Blake and her old friend some time alone to talk. John, oh please you love that about me. Yan, finally getting your old self back? John, a bit, but it still hurts. Young caresses his cheek. Young, I know, believe me I know. The two just enjoyed their company. Hours later. Callie. Well, Sienna will live, but she will be unconscious for a while. Gyra. That's good. 
If Taurus tried to make Sienna a martyr, we still have her to discredit that. Ilya. I heard that Adam plans to join up with his collaborators in the Veil invasion at Mistral on Haven Academy. John. That's not good Ruby and NPR went there. Young. Oh no. Blake. Then our path is clear. We need to reclaim the white band. And return it to its original purpose. As she lifts a piece of cloth that has the white band symbol on it. John was uncomfortable fighting for the organization's name. Blake noticed and reached to hold his hand. Blake, John I know he hurt you, but please let me fix the past mistakes the white fang has done. John, no. Nothing will be back what I lost. But that doesn't mean I will let someone else endure what I went through. I'm with you, Blake, to the end of the line. Blake smiles, but still felt guilty for what happened to John as she glanced from where his fox ears used to be to the stab in his gut. Blake unconsciously put her hand to his side, which caused a massive misunderstanding. Ilya blushed, Kali squealed, Gyra shut down Yang, had a shit-eating grin, and Sun's soul left his body. Blake panicked and tried to explain what happened in Beacon as the room finally calmed down. All of them were sporting scars from the fall, and most of them were inflicted by none other than Adam Taurus. There was a commotion outside as fighting was here as it seems the Albion brothers has sent a force to eliminate its political rivals the Belladonnas. But when they got outside, they met an old friend wiping out the White Fang Assault team as she finally dealt with the Albion's last guard. Now the two brothers are alone and attempted to escape, but the citizens of Menagerie expressed their disapproval of Adam Taurus' declaration of war towards all of humanity. The old friend in question was... Saya. Hey there, boy. John. Teacher. Saya. Just dealing with your little pest problem. Fennec. How dare you get in the way of our honorable mission? Saya. More like insane. She then charges and let loose a waves of fire and lightning sending Fennec face first in the dirt as Corsac tries to strike at Saya's exposed back, then a shot rang out. As the onlooker saw that John took the shot, Corsac kneels within shot to his shoulder, disabling one arm. Corsac, this is it how it should end. John walks towards him. John, on the contrary, I wouldn't allow it to end otherwise. As he raised his fist and knocks him out cold as the people of Kwakwana cheers. Then the door to the Belladonna residences open revealing a bandaged up Sienna. As the people were shocked that she's alive, meaning Adam Taurus was nothing but a liar. Sienna then disowns and abolishes Adam's claims and his mission branding him and those that followed him as traitors to the entirety of their race. After all that happened, Blake was saying her goodbyes as she stated she needs to help her other family out. Ilya joins them as well as Sun. Saya elected to remain in menageries to clean up any stragglers and protect the Belladonnas. Saya, 
So how do you plan to get to Haven? It will take a shitload of time to get there. Then as she said that a portal opens as a familiar individual stepped out. John. Mother. Young. Mom. Saya. Oh hey there pigeon. Raven. Hey to you to little fox. She then looked at her children and sees John's scarred eye and Yang's prosthetic and made a pained expression, but she shook it off to deliver a message. Raven. John. Yang a friend of yours is in trouble. John. Which one? Raven. The snob. Yang. Raven. This portal will lead to where she is being held, but I can't go with you. The place is somewhere I can't go back to. John, we got you. Come on, guys. As the others entered the portal, Young and John stopped for a moment and looked at their mother. Raven, be careful you too. Young, you should say that to the asses we're gonna kick. John, we'll be careful mother don't you worry. Raven nods as the two enters the portal. Saya, are you sure you don't want to join them? You look like you wanted to. Raven, I want to protect them, but they need to grow if they want to face this world. Saya, don't worry they have each other. And you might expect some grandkids later on. Raven looks at her with wide eyes. Later, somewhere in Mistral. John, where the hell are we? Young. John looks that must be where Weiss is. Blake, we need a plan of attack. Son. I have a plan. John, Yang, Blake, and Ilya. And now, they look at the large camp.